I think organic lifestyle is the future. I am a better farmer because I go through the process. But it really opens doors because there are a lot of blueberries out there. I'm proud to be certified organic. The USDA organic regulations describe the specific standards required for you to use the word organic on a cultivated crop, wild crop, livestock product, or processed product. The USDA National Organic Program administers these regulations with substantial input from its citizen advisory board and the public. Certification verifies that your farm or handling facility complies with the USDA organic regulations and allows you to sell, label, and represent your products as organic. Organic certification provides the consumer assurance that the product's organic integrity has been maintained. Being certified organic is definitely a direct benefit to our business. It's uh, given us a, door, you know, a way in, kind of like a foot in the door and to uh, retailers that wouldn't otherwise um, bother with us. It's given us a really broad market. I think it really adds value to your product. I think it um, puts a statement into your business that you're willing to meet certain criterion that go above and beyond. Your farm or handling facility may be certified by a private, foreign, or state entity that has been accredited by the USDA. These entities are called certifying agents and are located throughout the United States and around the world. Certifying agents are responsible for ensuring organic products meet all USDA organic requirements. Someone that's interested in applying for organic certification um, needs to be proactive about this and think ahead of when they want to market a product as organic because the certification process takes time um, and we need the farm and the handler to realize that there are several steps in the process that have to take place in order to ensure organic integrity and to ensure that we can make the best decision possible about that product that's going to market. There are five basic steps to obtain organic certification. Step one is to adopt organic practices and then to submit an application and fees to a certifying agent. Your certifier will ask you for information about your business, including a history of substances applied to land during the previous three years, details about the organic products grown, raised, or processed, and a written organic system plan describing your practices and any inputs you wish to use. While the certifying agent cannot consult or offer you advice about your specific operation, they are there to provide technical assistance and direct you to resources that can assist you in developing approved practices and maintaining compliance with organic requirements. And you have some labeling questions I hear. So the organic system plan uh, is essentially an agreement between the certification agency and the business that's applying for certification. Um, the organic system plan is what it says. It's a plan and it's, it can change and it can be adjusted as time goes on. Um, but it's a plan where the certified operation is laying out all their different practices and their procedures and how they're going to protect the integrity of the organic products as they go through their system. Uh, the organic system plan was actually a really great opportunity to kind of come together and get a great overview of the entire farm operation. With the system plan, we're able to kind of put together more of a holistic idea as to what we're trying to accomplish here. The organic system plan is a business plan and a plan for laying out and being thoughtful and um, forward thinking about the steps that the operation is going to take to ensure from seed all the way to um, packaging that, that the organic integrity of the product was maintained. After the application is submitted, step two of the certification process is for the certification agency to review your written application and organic system plan. A representative of the certifying agency will review your application for completeness and evaluate if your practices comply with the USDA organic regulations. They will contact you with any questions or to request additional information. 
we're going to be looking at what was put down on paper and then go out and compare it to actual practices in the field or at the handling facility uh, to see if you know, what's down on paper matches what is going on in reality. The third step of the certification process is for the certification agency to assign an inspector to visit your operation. The inspector will walk through your fields or facility making observations. They will also conduct interviews of you, your employees, and audit your records in order to evaluate if you're following your organic system plan, have a transparent and complete record keeping system in place, and are meeting all requirements of the USDA organic regulations. So the inspector's role is to simply make observations and to record those observations and verifications in an inspection report. The inspector is not making a certification decision. Um, the inspector is the eyes and the ears um, for the certification agency. And then their report is going to come back to that certification agency to make that final decision. Yeah. I look forward to, to inspection day. Um, it's, it's a time where I'm able to sit down and, and go over all the paperwork, of course. That's, that's maybe not the fun part, but the fun part is showing the inspector the ground and, and really going over what, what we have going on here. Um, it's not a scary process. It's, it's very friendly. Once the inspection is complete, the inspector sends the report to the certifying agent for review. The fourth step of the certification process is for your certifying agent to review the inspector's report. A certifier will evaluate the report from the inspector as well as the information you submitted to determine if your business and products meet organic requirements. The review may result in the issuance of an organic certificate or in the identification of issues that need to be corrected before certification can be granted. Step five of the certification process is the issuance of an organic certificate by the certifying agent. Once an organic certificate is issued, you will be able to sell your products with an organic label. If it is determined that your practices don't comply with organic requirements, your request for certification would be denied. After correcting the issues, you would be able to reapply for certification. Once certified organic, you must renew your certification annually. Renewing your certification is accomplished by submitting an annual update to your organic system plan and paying annual fees to your certifier. An annual inspection along with a review of that inspection will be conducted by your certifier to determine if your business remains in compliance. For more information on organic certification, visit the USDA National Organic Program website.